Welcome back to Cooking with E. Today we're going to make some quesadillas taco style on the old griddle since my Traeger's getting rebuilt. Stay tuned. Let's get into this. So, got me some ground beef here, little 85, 15. Just gonna chuck that on there and get it going. So I season the meat even though it's going to get a little taco seasoning, but I'm going to put some uh, white lightning on it. Kind of my fallback on beef. Go ahead and separate this out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and brown this up. We'll be right back with you. Okay, so starting to brown up pretty good. And I threw on uh, kind of a poor man's pico, just a little bit of cilantro, onion, and tomato. I like to throw it on there and get it, uh, let the juice from those tomatoes kind of get all happy when they get hot. It brings out some of the sugars in that tomato. So just uh, gonna finish up browning this. We'll get that where I like it. And then we'll go ahead and start assembly. And then we'll put them back on the griddle. Stay tuned. Okay, so now I'm going to add the uh, taco seasoning. I'm only using a half a packet. Uh, I don't like tons of taco flavor on it. Don't want it to overpower it to where when you bite it, that's all you taste. So when doing it on the griddle, you're supposed to add the water and let it simmer and blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. Mix it up first. Get it all dropped in the center. Pour a little water at it. All right, once I have that kind of simmered up a little bit and everything's kind of looking juicy and got the coating of that taco seasoning all over it, I'm just gonna shove it over here and then I'm gonna clean that off so we can start putting our other stuff on. But before I do that, I gotta start getting everything ready for assembly.
All right, let's move. Next station. Okay, so let's go ahead and start assembly. Let me grab my tortilla. Number one. Pop it down. Some cheese, whatever cheese you got. I waited to bring out the cheese because it's uh, extremely, extremely hot. It's hotter than uh, Tom Brady's wife, that Giselle lady, after he won the Super Bowl and got that check. I bet she's pretty hot. Let's see. Just a little bit more. I'm going to take my poor man Pico. Just kind of drop it on there. A little bit all over. Just kind of move it around where you get a little bit in each bite, if possible. Take a ground beef mixture here. Do the same thing, just kind of chuck it around. Try and move it a little bit to the outside. Sorry, my air conditioning's not stopping. It was 112 today, so it's had a rough workload. Okay, so right about there is good. And a little pinch growing inch just because that's what I like. A lot more right at the edge. All right, leave it alone. All right. Now, let's take our other one. This is what makes it quesadilla style. You could fold that and just eat it uh, if you threw some lettuce in there. Let's go. Press that on there good. Let's go flap that thing on the griddle. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I got them assembled. Let's go ahead and get them going. I'm going to take a little bit of oil. Just a touch. It's just olive oil. Put that down first. See if I can do this without the spatula. Oh yeah. I always save a little for yourself. Something get on there. Wait for this this edge of this to start bubbling a little bit. Once it starts bubbling a little bit, then I know it's time for me to flip it. Otherwise, it's still too limp. And that's never a good thing. Just saying. All right, I'm making sure I got the temp right on the first one here. So I'm probably going a little bit premature, but I know my kids won't need it if it's as uh, burnt at all. Here's the big flop. Oh, look at that. Only lost a tomato. Looks pretty good. Got a nice little, little bit of brown to it there. All that stuff. Get all happy and lovey. Look at that. Got a little bit of brown to it. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. It's by the time the other... You don't want to drop your phone on the griddle. Sorry about that. That was probably the funnest part of this video. <laughs> that would have been bad. So the last one's on. I got rid of my stand because the it's so hot out here the little rubber mat fell off it and dropped my phone. So I'm just going to hold it for now. Here's the three other ones. Now to finish it off for me, I'm going to throw a little bit of lettuce on mine. So it's kind of like a play on a torta, but you could put uh, black beans on the bottom, refried. You could add black beans to it. You can do refried beans. These things are endless possibilities. If you cooked um, steak or carne asada or chicken or, you know, last week I did a little bit of uh, pulled pork, which was amazing. And uh, you could take and drizzle some of that in there. I mean, you can make these however you want. Pulled pork with barbecue sauce? Come on. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? 
anyway, endless ideas for a simple, pretty quick and easy dinner. All right, let's give this thing a try. Oh, don't I look good? Mm. You gotta make you some of that. Hit the subscribe button. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. See you next time.